the, the plot of the show is really about Ghost, uh, which is James St. Patrick, and he's a nightclub owner, and he's living a double life, both as James St. Patrick, the nightclub owner, and Ghost, the high-end drug dealer. Uh, you want to talk about Tommy? Um, Tommy's character is, is, is exciting. He's, he overcompensates because of his actual experience growing up with Ghost, mm -hmm. and, and people questioning whether he is... Uh, as effective or aggressive as the other people around because they think there's a look connected to being a, a part of that lifestyle. And because he doesn't, he's white, so they, they think that he's not as aggressive as, he, he wears it on his sleeve and he's actually more aggressive than he is because of it. Um, Tasha is Ghost's wife. Uh, I'll let you talk about Tasha. Because <laughs> she's partially your creation. She's been down forever. Right? And, and with the tradition, because of Ghost's ability to be a, a businessman, that savvy that's connected to the non traditional route of him creating the crew that doesn't have that aggressive aura to it, he uh, offers more information to her. He wants to make her almost a partner in his life in the early stages. And he, he turns her into uh, his actual soundboard. Mm -hmm. And then last, I mean, Angela, Angela Valdez, is um, Ghost's one that got away. She's his true love, or a true love for him. And she is, uh, I'm not going to give away because you haven't seen the first episode yet necessarily, but she is a career woman who has been about her career and has not been distracted by the idea of romantic love until she runs back into her high school boyfriend. And then, oh boy, it's all she wrote. And yes. then I think the last person is Kanan. And Kanan is old-fashioned. He actually is an old friend of Ghost. He showed him the ropes in the very beginning. So. The aggressive journey that they went through in the very beginning was all canon. So there's a different way of, of doing things. It's, it's the, uh, the guy that sees killing you to acquire your business, like, like they would actually move from one continent to the next and kill the soldiers of whoever was actually running that actual particular area and salvage whoever else was there in the Roman days. Totally. He's old school. He's like a it's game just, of risk. It's really old school. So yeah. just, just kill him and take it. It seems like the storyline closely mimics your former life. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you were trying to do? Is that something that inspired the series? Well, it did. It, 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 came, it came into the actual series at different points. But really, it's, it's something that, that stood out significantly. It was Courtney and, and, and the loss of her father. It's a combination of his biography, elements of, definitely of Curtis's biography, but elements of my father's journey as well, um, and the things that my father cared about as an advertising executive and coming from having no money and being born, you know, with nothing. Um, my dad and his sister danced on the street for money at one point because that helped, you know, uh, support their family. So, and he went to school on a basketball scholarship, just like many other kids. You know, he had this, uh, like, this American dream story, just like Curtis. So it's a blend of all of those things. It's not Curtis's story because Ghost is not a rapper. Right. He didn't make it out of the hood mm -hmm. with, you know, on a mixtape and a dream and, and writing, you know, over and over again, staying up all night trying to write your way out of the hood. That's not Ghost's story. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are definitely elements of both. We decided to blend mm -hmm. it to make a story that people could relate to. Because the thing about the hustle is a lot of people can get into the hustle, but not everybody can rap. 